Hey guys, let's talk about these new coin acceptors that we just got. We actually have two different models in the catalog. We have one that will accept two different kinds of coins and one that will actually accept six different kinds of coins. And the cool thing about both of these is that they're programmable. I've heard them described as coin agnostic. They don't care what kind of coin you put in them as long as you program them to recognize those coins. So you can use any kind of currency that you want to as long as it will actually fit in the machine and as long as each denomination of currency is different enough that it can distinguish between them. So this is the six coin unit and it will actually distinguish between six different denominations of coins. And programming this thing is actually pretty easy. It has this seven segment display on the side of the unit and these two buttons and that's actually what you use to program the uh, what they call coin parameters into the unit. So to program your coins in you're just going to hit the A button here and it'll come up with double zeros and if you hold that A button for a few seconds it'll make an annoying beeping sound and then it'll show you CP and that stands for coin parameters. If you scroll through using the A button you can see I'm getting C1 through C6 which obviously stands for coin 1 through 6. We'll start with a quarter and you just press B and it'll show a double zero and I can just use the B button to program in the denomination. This is a quarter so it's 25 cents. You set the denomination from zero to 100 so I'll just put 25 in here and now it wants a sample of the coin. Now if you're actually programming this for use out in the wild you probably want to use a bunch of the same coin that were minted in different years so it gets an average for the coin parameters. I'll put my hand under here to catch the coins as they fall through and you can hear it beeped to signify that it saw the coin and it'll just keep returning that coin to me and beeping and one of these times it'll beep a whole bunch and I'll know that it recognizes that coin. So there it goes. Now it knows what a quarter is and it'll recognize that as 25 cents. So now I've programmed in the four different denominations of coin that I happen to have on hand. I'm going to go ahead and put each of these coins in here and you'll be able to see on the display on the unit itself the denomination of each coin. I'll put in a quarter. You can see it wasn't returned. It dropped straight down through the slot and I got a 25 on the screen right here. Put a dime in there and it shows 10. Put a penny in there, it shows a 1 and of course a nickel gives us a 5. So now what I've done is I've taken an FTDI and I've broken out the ground and the RX line on it and connected them to our coin acceptor. That way I can read the serial data that's coming out of the coin acceptor and feed it to my computer. On my computer I'm running a terminal program called Realterm and all it's doing is it's watching the serial port and grabbing any bytes that come over at 9600 baud and interpreting them as integers, spitting them out on the screen so I can read them. We'll start with a quarter here and you can see on the screen we've got a 25 which is the value that I programmed for the quarter and we'll go ahead and move on to a penny. The penny dropped right through and we got a 1 on the screen. A uh, nickel next. So we got a 5 and then that was followed by 255. That's an extra byte that comes after some coins are inserted and we don't necessarily need to use that today for our purposes. So if I were writing a program to interpret these coin drops, I would just ignore the second byte that comes through every time. And finally, we'll go ahead and put a dime in and see what happens. Dime drop through and on our screen we can see 10 again followed by that second byte that we don't need today. So that's the six coin acceptor. As you can see it's really simple to use and there are all kinds of projects that you can put these things into. We also have a two coin acceptor and the two coin acceptor works slightly differently but the basic operation is really the same. You can program it from the machine itself using a set button which is on the back and a couple of LEDs and then it actually reports its coin values not in serial but in pulse widths. So you'll actually need a microcontroller to interpret what comes out of this. So I've connected power to the two coin coin acceptor and we're going to go ahead and program it to accept uh, let's say nickels and dimes. If you look at the side of the unit here you'll notice that there are two LEDs and then down at the bottom in the back there's this switch and it's actually labeled set. The first thing you do is you find the set button and you just hold it down for two seconds and then let go of it and both those LEDs will come on. To program the first coin all you do is you hold that button again 
and then when you let go of it, the first LED should start flashing. So now we'll just grab a sample of one of our coins and we'll just drop it into the coin slot. And you're gonna do that 20 times before it actually accepts the coin parameters. Now you can see that first LED is really blinking like crazy and that means it's accepted the coin parameters for our nickel. And now the second LED is blinking which means it's ready to accept coin parameters for our second coin. Again, just go ahead and slot a dime in there about 20 times and that second LED will take off blinking like crazy. Now you can see both LEDs are blinking which means that it's accepted the coin parameters for both coins and it's now ready to recognize the coins as you drop them through. We'll throw a nickel in here and you can see the first LED lit up. And we're going to go ahead and drop the dime in. That should light up the second LED. And it did. Now let's drop in a coin that we didn't program in. Here's a quarter. And you can see it actually rejected the quarter and came out of the coin reject slot. So now we've successfully programmed this unit with our coin parameters and our machine is ready to accept nickels and dimes. So those are the coin acceptors. As you can see, they're pretty easy to use and it's a cool way to monetize your project. I mean, just imagine how much money you can make off your friends. Well, thanks for watching.